Senate Republican Mike Walsh from Florida now. So first of all, I thought it was interesting. Virginia Congressman Bob Good, Republican obviously, did have a point. I mean, Republicans have every right to do this. Isn't this what we saw on the left when Nancy Pelosi faced a challenge from, from Representative Tim Ryan among the Democrats? Yeah, thanks, and thanks for having me, uh, Harris. Look, the thing I think so many of us are so frustrated about is that this standoff is over a lot of procedural gobbledygook, frankly. Five members to vacate the speaker, one member to vacate the speaker. Every American that I talked to when I was back home in Florida doesn't understand this stuff. It's a bunch of procedural Washington swamp talk. What they want us to get to is China, is oh, yeah. uh, what's going on with Hunter, uh, is getting subpoena power uh, to get to the bottom of the origins of COVID that have, that have damaged so many kids. I personally want uh, um, accountability for 13 Gold Star families. Harris, we can't get to any of that. We can't get sworn in. We can't establish committees. We can't put the first bill on the floor, which, oh, by the way, is to defund the 87,000 IRS agents. Yes. We can't do any of that until we have a vote for speaker. So my message is now is the time to be united. We voted as a conference for Kevin McCarthy, and we need to stand firm against the Biden administration, against the Democrats in the Senate, and against our adversaries around the world that want to take down America. Enough is enough. Let's get on with the people's business. That's what they elected this Republican majority to do. Well, look, and if anybody is wondering whether or not this is just, you know, pomp and circumstance where you guys are concerned at 1159.59. So in about a half an hour from now or so, yeah. you become again congressman elect. That's right. <laughs> because we end one Congress and then go into the next one. And without the Speaker of the House, you're just like in limbo for a little bit. Uh, so this is very real. Has and McCarthy given too much has he capitulated too much is a question, because now what are the bargaining chips? He's giving in and then people want more. And by the way, Harris, the House will be presided while we can't establish ourselves by an appointee of Nancy Pelosi. Of course. The House clerk will be overseeing Nancy Pelosi. So actually this holdout and the standoff is empowering them. Look, yeah, do we, one, think, one quick second. Do we sure. have any reason to think that that clerk isn't a Democrat? No, probably not. No, it's a Nancy Pelosi appointee. <laughs> right? Of course. Okay. The of power course to the is. Democrats while you guys work it out. All right, go that's, ahead. That's right. But to your point on concessions, look, uh, this place is broken. A lot of things need to be cleaned up. Speaker Pelosi would take trillion dollar bills and craft them in the dark of her office and give us 24 hours uh, to try to get through it before demanding an up or down vote or a government shutdown. So a lot of things need to be broken. I think a lot of the things that Kevin McCarthy has done moves us in the right direction. But we're moving into now from appeasement to a hostage situation. And we can't hold the agenda, the Republican agenda hostage because of some personal agendas of just a few members. What is the talk with the five uh, people in Congress right now? Uh, who have things that they want. I mean, is that something that, that different groups of you are assigned to, okay, go work on this thing? What, how are you getting through this? Well, McCarthy's dealing with them directly uh, and personally. My understanding from this morning's meeting is last night there were individual demands for chairmanships. Look, the rest of us oh, all I have see. to compete for, uh, for, we have to compete amongst our conference for who's the best qualified. That's healthy. Uh, there was even a suggestion of letting a Democrat speaker uh, come in so that they could just fight against them. Look, at the end of the day, that's not what we were elected for. We were elected to hold this administration accountable and get this country back on track. Uh, that's what we need to get through this afternoon. And the thing that has me so upset as someone who served all over the world is authoritarian regimes all over, all over the North Koreans, the Iranians, the Cuban regime, Certainly the Chinese Communist Party are pointing to us right now and saying democracy is too messy. That's why you need to side with us and not America. That's unacceptable. We need to get our act together. We need to move forward. Yeah, I think you're kind. I mean, you know what an enemy looks like. I think they're pointing to us with some other thoughts in mind. <laughs> but that's just my take from covering it for so long. Uh, Congressman, for at least the next 30 minutes, and yes, then perhaps we'll see after that. I really appreciate your time and you breaking it all down. Great to see you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Harris.